Hello, my name is Troy Emery, uh, Managing Partner of TD Emery CPA and Associates. Today we're going to talk about the new tax changes in reference to businesses, LLCs, corporations, all the pass-through entities, and all the good things that, uh, that are coming out as far as the ways to save you money on uh, your taxes, especially your business owners. Is it good to pay your taxes up front or you can wait till the end of the year? The way, let me, let, me tell, let me give you the IRS rules, okay? You're supposed to pay as you go, okay? So you're not supposed to wait until the end of the year if you have business income, all right? Um, and, and what you essentially do is you, you, try to, you try to do a tax return before the year is over, right? And you say, okay, if my taxes are going to be this by the end of the year, I should pay this amount per quarter, okay? So you do this every quarter, just to make it simple, all right? So, so you're, really, you're really trying to uh, calculate where you would be at the end of the year. Just suppose you start your business in March, right? And just suppose you didn't make any money, right? And you wouldn't have a liability. So you don't have to make any tax deposits, right? But just suppose that your, your income at March, you, your net income is $50,000, right? What you should really do is say, okay, um, if my income was $50,000 at the end of the year, here's what my taxes would be, right? And you make that, they make that payment. Then you go to the next quarter. Just, just suppose you lost money the next quarter, right? Then you start adjusting the numbers again and say, okay, this is where I would be at the end of the year. Okay, no payment to be made, all right? I didn't make any money this quarter. Okay, no, no payment to be made. Third quarter comes around, you might experience the same thing. Or you might go up again. You go up again and you say, okay, well, this is what my taxes would be at the end of the year. Okay, I paid this amount. I need to add this amount. So you pay that. So there's four times a year in which you, 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 you make the payments. Okay, it's uh, April 15th, June 15th, se September 15th, and I think the new regs say December 15th. It used to be you can go into the next year, but I think they changed that where you have to pay it in December now. If it's not December 13th, uh, 15th, it's the, it's, the end, it's the last day of the, the year. I can't remember exactly what the new regs say. Um, so do you have, you're going you're to compare 2017 to 18? Is there a penalty if you don't do that? There is a penalty. There, there, is, there is a penalty. Um, um, but, but to put things in perspective, the penalty is not as much as, if, as, as failure to pay, which failure to pay is... When the time of the tax return is due, you did not pay the taxes, okay? There's a difference between failure to deposit. That's what I was explaining to the gentleman here. Uh, failure to deposit is there's a penalty if you don't pay during the year, okay? Failure to pay comes in when your tax return is due and you haven't paid the taxes on it. And of course, there's a penalty for failure to file if you haven't filed on time either, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. If you've got any questions or comments, please contact me at tdecpa.com or 301-474-1040. Thanks, and hope you enjoy your next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss my next video.